Dr. Myers, it is such a pleasure to receive an update from Fendex Technologies. How are you today? I'm great. Great. Thanks, Tracy. You've had a number of news releases recently, specifically having to do with a partner. Would you like to talk to us about your news release that you just put out this morning, please? Yeah, well, we're pretty excited about the, the fact that we are continuing to collaborate with Dunmore, our manufacturing partner, you know, just outside of Philly, to, uh, to continue to refine the manufacturing process of our lead product, Lapel Wrap Film. We, uh, we signed a, uh, an agreement with them back last spring to look at, assess uh, our formulation and uh, start the scale up process of the film on their manufacturing line. In the fall, early fall, we announced that, and it was our, we had done our first pilot run, we announced that we could automate the manufacturing of the formulation and, uh, and be able to coat thousands of feet of, of plastic with our nano coating. So that was a huge milestone for us. And then we announced uh, in, in later that in 2023 that we did another run with, with Dunmore and further refined the uh, manufacturing process by reducing the number of changeovers on the manufacturing line, which is really important because every time you do a changeover, it costs money. So we were able to, to reduce the number of changeovers. And then we announced uh, in, in January that we completed a third pilot run with them, again, further refining the, manuf the manufacturing to actually reduce the, the heating and drying of the film. Again, streamlining the manufacturing process. And you know, we announced this morning we're going to do another run with them at, for, to further refine refine the processing. And just so you know, Tracy, this is not an unusual process. Uh, I, I've been the president of, of a film manufacturing company, and it does require uh, various iterations to ultimately refine the manufacturing process so you can get to a point that you've got a film that meets your, your performance metrics but also provides a cost of goods that is, is, is acceptable to the company as well as ultimately uh, to, to the real world as it relates to pricing the product relative to the cost of goods. So that's what we are doing. And uh, once we finish the refinement of the manufacturing process, we will move into real world testing uh, because most of the testing to date has been done in McMaster's lab to, number one, show these films uh, significantly or highly significantly reduce the adhesion of bacteria and viruses, but that they're also durable over time. They, they are subject to various environmental conditions like um, wiping with uh, disinfectants, scratch tests, um, you know, ma many, many touches to the surface to see how they, how they um, react. And we've had films on stability for quite a while now, and they're still maintaining their, um, their, their durability, which is good. But we need to do this in the real world. So that's the next step. And, and once we're finished that, and we confirm that we maintain the performance measures, we'll move into the commercial production stage uh, with, probably with Dunmore, we'll have to sign a manufacturing agreement with them with the idea of having a product ready for commercialization at the end of this year for uh, sale um, in Canada. And so we anticipate that in the first half of 2025, we will be a revenue generating company. And so we're pretty excited about that. Um, the plan is to partner it with distributors in Canada who can sell the product into healthcare, as well as uh, partner with other uh, groups to bring the product to other high traffic, high touch point locations, like into transportation, schools, arenas, gyms, things of that nature.
I want to ask you a little bit more about your relationship with Dunmore, but first I want to back you up. Your relationship with McMaster University, which was basically what cultivated the repel, the repel rap, is that correct? Can you explain about the exclusivity and how that relationship, you know, how you how you developed such a good partnership with McMaster, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, we licensed the nanotechnology, the IP to the nanotechnology from McMaster University and um, and signed a, a, an exclusive worldwide license with them, which is for a period of 20 years. Um, and, you know, we all, and so that was the, the license to get the IP. Then subsequently, we signed a collaborative research agreement with them to collaborate them on developing the film in, in, as our first product. Uh, and that collaboration has gone tremendously well. Uh, they are very, very um, cooperative. Uh, they are very focused on meeting the milestones that we have put in place. And part of it is a testament to my COO, Andrea Mulder, who is an, is a great operator, and she works very closely with the university, a, along with Tash, our project manager, to keep, um, for lack of a better way of saying, keep McMaster at on task to meet our milestones, uh, which is really uh, you know, why we have been successful in moving the, the um, development of our film forward. Uh, as we had uh, announced we would do and essentially meeting all of our timelines. McMaster is a great partner and, you know, we're working with them on other products and development, uh, like our spray, uh, our coating for catheters, et cetera. And as I say, they are just totally engaged and, and work very closely with us. Our license agreement with them um, essentially, and the collaborative research agreement, essentially they get a royalty on net sales and we pay for the uh, research that they're conducting at the university. We have three postdocs and two technicians that are at the university that are working exclusively on our projects, which is another reason why we're able to move these projects forward in the timeline that we want to. So can you just elaborate a little bit more about the details of your strategic relationship with Dunmore? I mean, uh, can you comment on how that partnership was formed and add anything to that? Yeah, Dunmore, uh, you know, we're lucky. They, they really are an incredible wealth of knowledge and, uh, you know, very synergistic to well, us at Fendex as well as to McMaster. You know, it took us a while to find a manufacturer that uh, has the expertise in, in what we're doing, but ultimately we did find Dunmore. And the way that our relationship works is it, it's really every time we do a pilot run, we sign another development agreement with them. So we don't have a long standing manufacturing agreement with them yet. The intention is that once we move into the commercial phase, that's that's what uh, we will, that's the type of agreement we will enter into. So now it's pilot run by pilot run. We, we sign, we sign an agreement for, uh, a, you know, a, a nominal amount of money to support, um, you know, it, it, certain aspects of, of the, the pilot run. So that's how it works right now. And it, again, they are incredibly collaborative and, and, um, it, you know, tuned to what we're doing and, you know, they've put out their own media related to our collaboration. And, and it's really interesting to see, you know, how, how excited they are to be working with us and, and you know, advancing this product with us. So it, 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 it really is a good relationship. Well, for everybody interested in learning more about Repel Wrap and, of course, Fendex Technologies and staying up to date on what Fendex Technologies is doing, please go to their website. And Dr. Myers, as always, it's a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.